Good morning. Welcome to Grammy Blue Live. I am Philandris, a storyteller. I tell my personal truth along with sharing the word of God to be used by the Holy Spirit to help set others free. I pray that you follow me on my YouTube channel, Storytime with Grammy Blue. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe so that the word can go all over the world and Jesus can come back. He's not coming back until everyone has been taught, has heard about his kingdom. Hallelujah. And had the opportunity to join the kingdom of God. On Monday, I had a very off day. I was just not myself all day. And I prayed in the spirit. And all day, I was praying throughout the day. By the time I went to bed, I could not sleep. I just, a spirit of intercession came upon me. And I just prayed all through the night. Well, come Tuesday, I received a phone call. And that phone call could have put me on a plane. <laughs> but because I had been praying and um, interceding, then I was not acting in my emotions. And the Holy Spirit was able to have his way and all is well. Father God knows the frailness of our bodies. And that's why it's so important for us to know the word of God, for us to have it <laughs> in our spirits, instant, in season, and out. In the book of Philippians, Father God tells us in order for us to have peace, that we need to meditate on these things. Uh, Philippians 4, 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And if you do that, verse 7 says, The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 8, Finally, brethren and sister, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Hallelujah. So, when things... When things start bothering you and... Um, things come against you in the spirit, then we have to apply God's word. His word is powerful. It's quick. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. And we have to learn how to fight um, Satan, the principalities of the air, spirit beings with the word of God. And if we apply the word of God over our lives, we will have victory every single time. The word of God says that many are called, but few are chosen. For those of you that are chosen, that Father God has given you a platform, you have to remember that every feeling that you experience is not your own. But we become so sensitive in the spirit realm that when those um, that we come in contact with, those of our loved ones, our friends, sometimes we take on their feelings, their emotions when we are praying and standing in the gap for them. So when feelings come, um, don't be so quick to accept them, but um, intercede and pray, you know, and you're standing in the gap could be the very thing that pulls someone out of the pit of hell. 
And that's what we want to do is to be available to the Holy Spirit to stand in the gap for those when they are too weak to stand for themselves. And also, I wanted to share this song with you. Never alone. I don't have to worry because I'm never alone. Never alone. I don't have to worry because I'm never alone. He guides my footsteps every day. He walks beside me. All the way, oh, never again will I be insecure, never again, hallelujah. He is with us all the time, you have to remember that, and also remember that um, emotions are spirits without bodies. Have a wonderful day. Remember, Grammy Blue loves you. And um, I will read to you later. Have an amazing day. Amen. <laughs>